Hi, welcome to Ballroom Feed. Today we're gonna learn four easy steps for your wedding first dance. Let's get right into it. Okay, so we're gonna get started with our first basic step. This is actually from the dance Foxy. So if you wanna learn all of the steps in Foxy, we actually already have that up for you. But we're gonna teach you the basic and a few other things today. Anyway, so we're gonna demonstrate it with some timing first. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. If we turn this around and do the same thing, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. We could also rotate this. So we're gonna demonstrate that really quickly as well. Yeah, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, the leader's footwork here for this cradle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start going forward on my left foot. To my right, I sway and I replace and sway back to my left foot. I go back on my right foot, left foot sways, right foot sways. So I went forward, sway, sway, back, sway, sway, one, two, three, four, five, six. If I wanna rotate this, I rotate it every time I step forward and every time I step backwards. I don't rotate during my sway, sway. All right, ladies, let's do your footwork for our regular cradle, starting with the right foot. We go one step back, side to the left sway, and to the right sway. We have left foot forward, side to the right sway, left sway. So we're going back, side, sway. Forward, side, sway. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we did want to rotate this to the left, like Chris said, we'd only be rotating on the backward steps and the forward steps. We'll do this together with Chris, but we want to make sure we're following our leader's rotation. I'm doing the followers part right now, so of course it might be a little bit different with a partner, but we can always practice on our own just to get comfortable with those steps while rotating them at the same time. So now that we've learned our cradle and how to rotate it, we're gonna learn our first underarm turn. So we're gonna demonstrate that with some timing together. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Put it one more time from here. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. All right, leaders footwork here for this cradle underarm turn. So I really just do two cradles back to back while she does this walk around turn. So I go forward into a normal cradle as I did before. The second time I go into it, I do a rotating one, a quarter of a turn to the left, and then finish with the back half of a cradle with no rotation. So you can see we go here, normal cradle, two, three, four, five, six. On the next one, I rotate a quarter of a turn to the left, two, three, no rotation, four, five, six, and I'm back to the beginning facing a new direction. All right, let's do our footwork for our underarm turn. So we're gonna start with the first half of that cradle so it, nothing changes. I'm going back right, side left, sway right. From here, I'm gonna walk straight forward like my normal cradle with the left foot. And then I'm gonna take three more curving walks, right, left, right, rotating around, last step side, and sway. And then the second half of my cradle, left foot forward, sway, sway. Let's do that again, just with some foot directions. I'm gonna go back, sway, sway, forward, curving, walks, forward, sway, sway, forward, sway, sway. So if I started here, I'm making one rotation at the end to my left, okay? Let's do some timing. We go, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, Six, one, two, three. All right, so real quick, together what we're gonna do, how I lead this pattern is when I go backwards with my right foot, I lift this hand up so she can walk around in the circle, and then we go meet each other halfway through the second cradle. So if I do it from this angle here, it's gonna be one, two, three, I lift four, five, six, we both walk forward, two, three, four, five, six. 
So followers, while you're you know dancing with him, if you have the space, if this is your first dance, just lift the free arm out and then bring it right back to his shoulder at the very end. Gives it something nice and then I always see your partner for sure if this is your first dance as well. This is one of our pro patterns. If you're looking for more detail on how this works in terms of foot directions and timing and more key points, and you can check that out in the, uh, our pro syllabus in Foxy. I'll link it down below for you. Mm -hmm. Next, we're gonna learn the simple lean. So let's do that together. Starting here, Chris is gonna take me into this position here. We're gonna lean together. We come out and then we're gonna exit the same way we came. So Chris is gonna walk us through that and we're gonna do it together. Awesome, so I'm gonna lift my left hand up here and I'm gonna bring this hand in between our faces so she can roll in. I keep both hands the whole time and then drop them down nice and relaxed and we're side by side. Our hips are connected here. Even if somebody's taller than the other, still works just the same. I lunge out with my left foot here and bend my left knee and keep myself upright the entire time. I then push off this left knee to bring it back up again. And then I lift the same hand I did at the beginning, my left hand, to let her out as I start to walk. We're back to face each other again. So from here, I'm just rolling in. I'm following his lead. My hips connected. I'm trying to keep strong here. Once I've gotten my weight back, he'll lead me out and then we're back to where we started. So obviously we can't try this one without a partner. So grab a partner and try it together nice and slow with us, okay? Let's do it one more time. So we roll in, we lean, we come out, and then we roll out. And the timing and the feet aren't so specific. Take your time. I would suggest for sure, especially in the lean, that way there's no problems there. And then you could speed it up potentially, but I think slower is better for our first dance. And again, if you're looking for some context in this pattern, how it would kind of link in with some other things, we have some pro videos again that go in more detail on this lean and how we can intertwine it to other cool things. Yes, absolutely. Let's do our final fourth easy move, which is our simple dip, okay? So, this is something what it's gonna look like. All right, so I'm in this hug position here. <laughs> Maybe a lighter hug. I'm stepping over to the side of my right foot. I'm gonna rotate to my left about a quarter. I'm bending my supporting leg, straightening the bottom leg, and then I just lower back, and then I come up. Chris, you wanna talk about your part? Mm -hmm. So I'm in between both feet here, kind of like I'm squatting, with my weight back on my heels. I, sh I rotate her first to my left, I can then bend my knees and soften to get her to go lower here, but I'm still staying upright the entire time instead of leaning over her, because you can see she starts to fall over. I pick her up first, then bring her back in front of me, and I can go back into one of the other moves. All right, so for that one, just make sure you don't throw yourself back. Take your time with it. Think of those picture moments, and you can put that in at any point in the dance that feels right with the music, or at the end of the dance is always a nice place. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna combine all those little moves in a routine and demonstrate it to the music. Feel free to follow along and enjoy. Thanks for sticking to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a comment down below what your favorite move was, what you want to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. 
And we have much more content up on our website in the Ball and Feed Pro section. We have a whole wedding section with even choreographed dances, wedding tricks, and a whole bunch more. So be sure to check that out in the link below. And we'll see you again very soon. Bye.